Hi, Jason Solomon here. I wanted to make a video for students and friends and colleagues that are preparing for the drum corps season. That's right, a lot of us right now are doing winter camps and we're trying to develop the strength to hold up those heavy horns. As a low brass player, I was a baritone player uh, and I had friends that played euphonium uh, in their time in drum corps. And these are heavy instruments that are held up in front of us, obviously. But even for trumpet, mellophone, uh, brass players as well, uh, the endurance aspect of holding up an instrument, it's a challenge that we have to develop the strength for. There are a couple of misconceptions on the way that we develop strength, and so I wanted to address those now for those of you that are trying to train yourselves. Number one, I see a lot of people in the drum corps world doing a lot of push-ups. Now let's think about it. Push-ups are pushing off of the floor this way and generally are developing the pectoralis major muscle, the anterior deltoid, the front side of the shoulder, and then a little bit of tricep. Now depending on the depth that you're going, you're going to be using those muscles differently. But the problem is most of what we have to do when we hold up an instrument to play is actually in our back. So here, I've got this trumpet just to demonstrate. If you have a bell front instrument, that means an instrument that's in front of your body, and you hold that instrument up, the biggest thing that you're battling is the fact that your center of gravity has changed. It has shifted forward considerably. So the compensating measure in the body is that the muscles in your back need to work harder than they're used to working in order to maintain your body's upright posture. So your arms are getting developed and your arms are strong enough to hold the instrument, but you're not doing anything for your back. And one of the biggest misconceptions about developing the strength in order to do this is that uh, people think it's this level of mental fortitude, they treat it like weight training, they use sports analogies, and they use that kind of logic when they come up with ways to do it. But the problem is, if you're a deadlifter and you're deadlifting a thousand pounds, nobody cares how graceful you look or how graceful you sound. And that's a huge concern for us because not only do we need to hold these instruments up, we need to be as relaxed as possible here so that our body can resonate and we can sound beautiful. And that's often one thing that's missing from the strength training uh, methods that people are using. So I wanted to offer a tip for you. Now normally I would use a pop tune or something like that because they have very, you know, usually straight up eight count, 16 count phrases. But for now, I'm just gonna use a metronome. I have it set to 60 beats a minute. So this is what I would do. So here's my metronome, 60 beats a minute. And 50% of the time, I'm gonna hold my instrument up and 50% of the time, I'm going to be relaxed. So we'll start with eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Relax. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I repeat that process. One. So I would do this process over and over. Nice and relaxed and relax. I'm not really taxing myself that hard right now. That's okay because I need to slowly develop the strength to stay nice and relaxed so I can resonate and have a beautiful sound. Five and relax. I would do that over and over. So let's say I do that for four minutes. I've really only held the horn up for two minutes over the course of four minutes. That's fine. It's a start, and then what we do is we develop the endurance from there, but we do it in a way to where we make sure we prioritize keeping a nice, relaxed, easy, free-flowing posture because we need to resonate, we need to sound great on these instruments. So there are three ways to increase the level of challenge, which you're going to need to do if you want to get strong enough and have the endurance to handle you know, a drum corps show or a marching band show, that kind of a thing. So let's say I do four minutes. And let's say I do 50% of the beads holding the instrument up. And then one thing I can do is I can increase the amount of time that I do the exercise. Maybe tomorrow I do it for four and a half minutes. Maybe the next day I do it for five minutes. Maybe the next day I do it for five and a half minutes. The other way that I can increase the level of challenge is rather than having eight counts on, eight counts off, what I can do is I can have 10 counts on, six counts off. Let's try that. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Then I repeat. Take a nice deep breath, and I want to try to get nice and relaxed. Nine, ten, and down. Now I only get six beats of rest. Four, five, six and then I repeat and I keep doing that over the course of the same amount of time so you do 10 counts on six counts off 
and then maybe you get up to the point where it's 11 and 5, and then you get to the point where it's 12 and 4, and then you get to the point where it's 13 and 3, 14 and 2, 15 and 1, or you're just doing 16 beats, and that means you're holding it up 100% of the time. Now what you might find is that you have a bit of a sticking point. Let's say you can do 12 and 4, but then when you go to 13 and 3, now all of a sudden you're starting to feel the tension creeping in. You're starting to feel the shoulders raise. You're starting to feel muscles work in a way that's a little unnatural. Your horn might be up, but if you're sacrificing any of the openness and relaxed nature of this part of your body, it's not going to sound good. And if you want to be high level, you have to sound good. You have to stay relaxed. So. The three ways that you can increase the level of challenge. You can increase the amount of weight you're holding. You can increase the amount of time that you do the exercise for. And you can increase the percentage of the time that you're holding the instrument up. So this is a one pound little uh, bag of uh, sand, little sandbag. I have a weighted vest. This is just a little thing from that. You can use a can of soup. It doesn't matter. You can start with this and just holding it up as if it's a horns up posture. And you can do 50% of the beats, 70%, 80%, 90%. And maybe you get to the point to where you can do 100% of the beats for four minutes. Well, great. Then you go back and you get something a little heavier until you get to the point to where you're using something about the weight of your instrument. Or you get to the point to where you're just using your instrument, and that's fine. So a couple of things to review. Uh, it's okay to, to work it every day or every other day. Uh, if you're really starting to tax your body and you're starting to feel fatigue from it, every other day is probably a preferable way to develop the strength. That way your body has a time to recuperate. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Make sure you're stretching. Check out my micro breaks for some good ideas for stretches at www.jasonsolomon.com. And remember, it's not about developing strength. It's about keeping a level of ease while you tax your body in terms of endurance. All right, that's a different challenge that we all need to conquer. All right, good luck. I can't wait to see you this summer. Thanks.